A chiseling the ceiling of a cell with screws, falling concrete, into paper cups, then slowly pour it down the toilet and flush it away with water. Another cellmate keeps a lookout, using a mirror to watch the movement of the guards. As soon as they see the guards coming towards their cell, stop digging immediately to avoid the guards finding the hole. They covered the hole with paper and painted it the same color as the ceiling to hide them from view. When the guards left, the two men continued digging. Roy believed that if they dug through the concrete ceiling, they would have a chance to escape from the prison. Because while Roy was letting the air out, he noticed a vent in the roof of the cell. He concluded that there were ventilation ducts in the cell block. If he cut through the ceiling of the cell, he could drill into the ventilation duct and then climb through the vent to the roof. After three months of digging, the hole in the ceiling was getting bigger and bigger. It was almost ready to be dug through, but then a steel bar appeared in the hole. The two men were frustrated. They had to find a way to cut the rebar before they could continue digging. Roy works in the carpentry workshop during the day. He slowly approached the saw table. When the guards weren't looking, he quietly breaks off two pieces of hacksaw. Then he carefully opens the box. He hides the saw blades inside the foil line box to avoid detection by metal detectors as much as possible. At the end of his shift, Roy volunteered to take out the items for inspection. The warder sees that the box has not been removed, but there was nothing hidden inside. Just gave it a few squeezes and let Roy through. Roy was relieved. Back in his cell, Roy heats the saw blade with fire, using a toothbrush as a handle, attaching the saw blade to the toothbrush. Then he uses the saw blade to start sawing the rebar in the hole. Before long, 